Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tri-Centis Tosca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 45 YouTube videos covering basic level, intermediate level and advanced level concepts. From couple of videos, I have started publishing the real-time scenarios where you might encounter different types of obstacles and how can we solve those kind of obstacles by using Tricentis Tosca while automating your test cases. This is our lesson 46. If you like the video, please do like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you will get notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. In this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you need to interact with dynamically changing ID property elements. Let us see what is the obstacle that we need to solve for. So, this is our fourth obstacle, which is two times. So, let us go for it. So, use one module creating two automated steps to click the button two times in a row sounds easier than it is. So, what do you mean by that? So, here whenever you click this button for the first time, right? So, if you see the button name is click me 2x. As soon as I click on this button, see now your button name is changed. Click me once more, right? So once I click one more time, that means your automation job is solved or your challenge is solved. So let us try this again. Okay. So you have a button. Once you click on this button, it changes the name of your button. So that is why the name of the button and property of the button gets changed for the second time. So you need to click this button another time. Then you solve this automation problem, right? For that, let's go back to Tricentis Tosca and as usual, let's scan the application by using the folder obstacle. Right click on this folder, scan, click on application. And this is our application. Select the application click on scan. So now let me maximize the window and what is the button? The button is click me 2x. So this is the button that we need to click twice but the button changes. Let us see what is the properties of this button. If you see here, the property of button is you have some numeric portion underscore 46576. Right? So, remember this and then tag A. You have numeric underscore sorry, it is not numeric. You have a characters underscore numeric value 46576. So, let me close this. I do not want to save this. I just want to close this. And let me click this button one time. Right now, let me rescan this particular application. Right click, click on application. And select the application, click on scan. So, if you see the button now, and the properties of button. Now your button name is click me once more. Let us see the property of this button. So you can see here the property of button has changed. See here numeric sorry your alphabets underscore now your numeric portion got changed 8468. So how can we solve this particular challenge to click the button twice. So for that let us close this again. So let me just click on this 
and then let's try this again okay so now let us go back to our tricentis tosca and now let me scan the application i would like to capture the object at initial stage itself before you click the button for the first time right click on scan and here let's select the button click me 2x as i told you the button has an id and this id gets changed to the another numeric portion here after underscore so that's why i cannot keep this as is instead remove that changing portion of your property and replace with hash trick which is a regular expression this a regular expression hash trick is used whenever there is a dynamic portion this can handle rmd underscore after that after underscore you can have any alphabet or numeric portion it doesn't matter it recognize the object even though you have any number or any character after underscore so i would like to replace that static value with a regular expression hash trick and click on okay so done now let's rename this module with the name of your obstacle this is my obstacle name copy this and rename this so it's a best practice to rename the module so that it makes a logical sense okay so now let's save the module so close your x scan so let's go back to presentis tasca now you can see this is my new module that i have scanned click me 2x so let me create a new test case now under obstacle folder right click create a test case name this as your obstacle name double click on this so now let me drag and drop the new module that we scanned drag and drop here so here for the first time you need to click on click me 2x right for that pass this x now again i want to click on this same button right but the pro button property gets changed drag this same module and drop into the same test case one more time and here i would like to rename this as click button once more and this step is click button for first time right so here again for the second time pass x so now this is done now let's save the test case and mark the test case work state as complete completed right and now let me run this test case and see if we can click the button twice see it clicked on once it clicked second time so i would like to do one thing okay so let's do one thing let's go back here i would like to use the some other click function so that you can see whether it is clicking or not i would like to use click function which uses the keyboard action so that your cursor will be placed onto the button so let's run this again one more time see your cursor moved to the button and it clicked one more time so that means now 
you solve this automation problem so whenever you are automating your test cases during that time if you have any dynamically changing id properties dynamically changing partial text value or partial value of your id then you can solve the problem by using this approach this is medium level obstacle but going forward we'll move into hard categorization of obstacles so if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries hope you all understand how can we solve an obstacle while automating your test cases where you have to interact with the elements for which the element properties are dynamically changing please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you will receive notifications whenever i publish more videos please do like and share the video thank you